Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. Yesterday was the due date for every NFL team to drop down to the 53-man rosters. There are quite a few roster cuts, as expected, but nothing very notable, nothing I would make a video about. But I figured this is the perfect time to make a video about 10 NFL players who should be traded. Jordan Love has long been the speculation of trade rumors. That's because the Packers handed Aaron Rodgers a shiny new four-year contract extension this past offseason. That means that Aaron Rodgers ain't going anywhere anytime soon, which means Love's got to. He was drafted in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft, and yet he's received no proper playing time because Rodgers is the clear-cut starting quarterback, and that's not going to change anytime soon, as we've seen. So it would make so much sense for Jordan Love to go to a team where he can actually start, or at least compete for the starting job. I think the best destination for him would be the New York Giants. That's because, first of all, Tyrod Taylor was injured a couple days ago. We don't know the severity of the injury, but depending on how serious it is, Tyrod Taylor could miss significant time, which means the Giants need a solid backup quarterback. But they also keep talking about wanting to bring in competition for Daniel Jones. This would be the perfect competition for Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones hasn't proven that much. Jordan Love hasn't proven anything. We've barely seen him play. So... Jordan Love could get the opportunity to dethrone Daniel Jones as New York's starting quarterback. If he doesn't, that should push Daniel Jones to play better to win the starting job. It makes all the sense in the world. Another destination that would make sense is the Seahawks, because they do not have a true starting quarterback. Their starting quarterback is Geno Smith. So why not bring in a young guy that can start there? The Patriots have an abundance of mediocre wide receivers. No one's amazing, but no one is terrible, which means that some of those guys have got to go, and none of them were cut in the final roster cuts. But I believe a couple of them do have trade value. I think the best option to be traded would be Nelson Aguilar. He hasn't done much, and receivers that are cheaper, like Kendrick Bourne and Jacoby Myers, have proven way more on a cheaper contract. So why not ship out a more expensive contract with less production? And I think the best destination by far would be the Tennessee Titans. They still need a number three wide receiver. Depending on how Traylon Burks plays, they might need a number two wide receiver. And he could even compete for the WR1 job because Robert Woods is currently the number one wide receiver. Another good destination would be the Raiders, but it doesn't really make sense for them to reunite. I can't see that happening, but if it were, it would be a great destination for Igor. The Giants, too, have an abundance of receivers on their roster. They have Kenny Galladay, the overly expensive, not-so-amazing receiver, but no one is going to take on his contract, so he's going to be in New York for now. They've got Kadarius Toney in the 2021 first-round pick. They're not getting rid of him. Then they've got Wandale Robinson, the 2022 second-round pick, also not going to get rid of him. So that leaves Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton. I suspect Darius Slayton will still be cut, despite the fact that he wasn't cut yet it's still possible, or they're trying to ship him out. That makes just as much sense. But I believe they should ship out Sterling Shepard as well. They don't need him. He's not going to do that much. He's getting up there in age, but he's still a quality wide receiver. I think by far the best destination for Shepard would be the Raiders. Another good destination would be the Titans if Aguilar doesn't go there. But the Raiders do not have a number three wide receiver as of now. 
they basically cut every mediocre number three wide receiver. So they have Devontae Adams, superstar, Hunter Renfro, very solid, and then they drop off an absolutely massive cliff and just demolish. They have no one aside from those two receivers. But Sterling Shepard could change that. And as an older veteran, he wouldn't have much pressure on him to perform amazing, but he can still be a solid receiver. It would make all the sense in the world. And I already explained why Nelson Aguilar would be a good fit for the Titans. Sterling Shepard's the same thing. A year ago, Chuck Clark was the Ravens' number one safety. He was solid, and there seemed to be no reason you'd ever need to move on from him. Well, obviously someday, but not in the near future. But that all changed this offseason. After the secondary had such a down year, the Ravens went out and signed star safety Marcus Williams in free agency. That seems fine. Chuck Clark can slide into the number two safety role, and Marcus Williams can be the superstar safety they're paying him to be. But then, in the draft, Kyle Hamilton ended up falling to the 14th spot. There was no way the Ravens could say no to that, so they end up picking up Kyle Hamilton as well. This leaves Chuck Clark as the odd man out, because obviously they're not getting rid of either of the two new additions. Chuck Clark has officially requested trade, unlike most of the players on this list. And I think by far the best destination for him would be the Los Angeles Rams. Chuck Clark is a very solid safety, something the Rams don't have. And the Rams have proven that they will trade for whatever piece they need to go all in. And... They won the Super Bowl, but why not try and run it back? And they're not going to be able to do that with their current secondary, especially after losing number two cornerback Darius Williams. Troy Hill is fine, but he's not Darius Williams. But if you manage to bring in a good safety in that mix, then that team could easily go all the way for the second straight year. I think another good destination for Chuck Clark would be the Colts. After the surprise retirement of Kari Willis, they could use a number one safety. They have Julian Blackman, but no one knows what he's going to do. And then they have Nick Cross, the rookie, who you can't rely on to be a star safety either. So they could use a true number one safety. And Chuck Clark can easily be that, as I explained. So they could use Chuck Clark to mentor the young rookies and let them slowly take over in position. DK Metcalf might not be leaving Seattle, but I think Tyler Lockett will be. Tyler Lockett is almost 30, which means that he is clearly not going to be on the roster when the Seahawks are contending for the playoffs again. He's not going to be making a difference on a team that's contending for the number one overall pick. So it makes so much sense to ship him out to a team that could actually use him. I think the best destination for Tyler Lockett by far, and I realize I've said that every time, is the Baltimore Ravens. That's because they do not have anything in their receiving core. They trade away Marquise Brown, which leaves Rashad Bateman, sophomore, who didn't really have the best rookie season. He might go off a year or two, but we don't know. After that, there's no real good options on that Ravens receiving core. So they could really use Tyler Lockett to boost their playoff chances. The Falcons were trying to ship out Deion Jones earlier this offseason, but a shoulder injury kept the list of teams interested very, very low. But now that Deion Jones has proven that he's healthy, I believe he's easily on the trade market again. And the Falcons aren't going anywhere, obviously, so ship out someone for picks. It makes all the sense in the world. I think the best destination for him would be the Miami Dolphins. They could use another star linebacker on that team if they truly want to contend for the playoffs. They seem a couple pieces short from the playoff race, but with the addition of Deion Jones, then they could really contend for the playoffs. They might actually make it into the playoffs with the addition of Deion Jones. And how did it just get so bright? It's cloudy out. Where is that coming from? 
Kareem Hunt has also publicly requested a trade. So, it makes all the sense for the Browns to ship him out. They have Nick Chubb, a superstar starting running back. Then they have Dernis Johnson, who proved last year that he can be a really good backup, if not a starter in his own right. And then they have youngsters, Jerome Ford and Dimitri Felton, who have plenty of opportunities to take over that backup role as well. That means that the Browns don't really need Kareem Hunt. So it makes so much sense for them to just ship him out for a couple of picks. It's normally hard to ship out a running back for picks because running backs get injured so easily and they don't tend to be worth what their true value should be in the trade market. So it's hard to ship out a running back, but I believe Kareem Hunt is a top 10 running back, so he should get some interest. I think the best destination is the Eagles because... Miles Sanders has been injured recently, and even before he's injured, he wasn't playing great. And the Eagles have proven they don't have much of a backup behind him. Kenneth Gainwell's been playing fine, Boston Scott's been playing fine, but they need a true number one running back. They proved last year that Nick Sirianni's system is to run the ball quite a bit. So if they had Kareem Hunt, that would improve the team vastly. Another destination for Cream Hunt would be going back to Kansas City because Clyde Edwards Hilaire does not seem like the future star running back that they were hoping him to be. So why not bring in a different star running back? But I can't see a reunition happening. The other destination that could he go to would be the Los Angeles Rams. They could use a star running back. Cam Akers was still injured when he came back last season. So he could play amazing this season. We don't know. Dale Henderson doesn't seem like much to me. Sony Michel took over the lead running back role in the playoffs last year. But he ended up leaving for Miami in free agency and then ended up getting released. Now is with the Chargers. That's not my point. My point is that the Rams could use a star running back again like they had when they had Todd Gurley. Calvin Ridley has had an odd year. Last offseason, Julio Jones was shipped out to the Tennessee Titans. I made a video on it. I will leave a link to it in the description. But that is not my point. My point is that that opened up the number one receiving role for Calvin Ridley. By far, he was easily the number one receiver. And then... In midway through the season, Calvin Ridley decided to stop playing for mental health issues, which led the Falcons not to do so well. Now, they were already doomed, but losing their top receiver hurts. While Calvin Ridley was out, he decided to gamble on his own sport, because that's a great idea. So now he is suspended for this whole season. My point is that he might not get many takers to trade for him yet, but I still think would be smart for a change of scenery for Calvin Ridley. I think the Green Bay Packers would make tons of sense for Calvin Ridley because they need, and I stress the word need to its absolute limit, they need a number one receiver. They do not have one on their roster currently. Their best receiver is a running back named Aaron Jones. That's got to tell you something. But Calvin Ridley and Aaron Rodgers could make a, an amazing duo once Calvin Ridley comes back in a season. Another good destination for Calvin Ridley could be the Baltimore Ravens. I worry about cap issues is the biggest reason. Plus, the Baltimore Ravens might be doing something else you'll see in a moment. So that's why I didn't put the Baltimore Ravens here. Instead, they can grab a cheaper option in Tyler Lockett. Roquan Smith is a player that has been garnering plenty of attention recently. That's because he publicly requested a trade from the Chicago Bears. And it makes no sense for the Bears to keep him. They're a rebuilding team. They should aim for the number one overall pick and then trade down so they can get a good offensive lineman to protect Justin Fields. 
So if they're trying to get the number one overall pick, they have to ship out their defensive veterans, which means Roquan Smith has to go. Plus, it doesn't seem like Ryan Poles is going to pay Roquan Smith anyways. I think the best destination for Roquan Smith would be the Denver Broncos. They already made one huge splash this season by trading for Russell Wilson, which I made a video about and will leave a link to in the description. But they could still use something on defense after trading Von Miller away, which I also made a video about and will leave a link to in the description. They still have that hole on defense. Bradley Chubb is solid, but he's very injury prone. Roquan Smith could easily slide into the Von Miller-like role and possibly guide that Denver Broncos team, along with Russell Wilson, to the Super Bowl. So they really need him. Another good destination would be the Dolphins. Instead of going for Deion Jones, why not go for a better option in Roquan Smith? Or the Commanders. Because they could use a linebacker. They do not have many good linebackers. They have a good defensive front, but then nothing really after that. Another good destination would be the Raiders. Because same thing as what I just finished saying for the Commanders. They do not have good linebackers. Another Bears defensive player that should be traded. Robert Quinn played absolutely lights out last season. He was an all pro superstar defensive end, especially with the absence of Cleo Mack. They still performed the whole defense. I've got to applaud them for that. Roquan Smith and Robert Quinn performed extremely well that season, but we're focusing on Robert Quinn now. He played as the best of the bunch by far. He was just absolutely amazing. But like I mentioned with Roquan Smith, the Bears should ship out their veterans if they want to aim for the number one overall pick. That includes Robert Quinn, the superstar who is 32 years old. So he is not going to be doing anything on that Bears team by the time they're in contention game. That means that they need to ship him out. There's no question. They've got to ship out Robert Quinn. The best destination by far for Robert Quinn, and I've said that hundreds of times now, the best destination by far is the Baltimore Ravens. That's because they have a solid defense, but they love their defensive star veterans. Don't ask me why, but they seem to. They always have defensive veterans on that defensive line. who are really good, but getting up there in age. And Robert Quinn can keep that trend going. It's possible that the Ravens go and exchange Justin Mattybrook, who is a solid defensive end, but not up to Quinn's level, who could be developed in Chicago's system. So if they were to trade Kim in the deal to Chicago, it would make plenty of sense. But if the Ravens want to contend for a Super Bowl, they've also got to improve that defensive line a bit. And that can start with the addition of Robert Quinn. And that is why I didn't put Calvin Ridley to the Ravens, because it would just have been way too expensive for them to acquire both of those players. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again very soon.